trigonometry and seven tips to solve trigo proving question. Okay, first question. Uh, first of all, the seven tips. Okay, so whatever question you have right for trigo, uh, always change it to sine and cosine. Sine and cosine are basically like the element in trigo. Okay, then for any fractions, always make them share the same denominator. And if there are any brackets, expand it and then simplify it. And then the most important formula, sine square x plus cosine square x equals to 1. This formula is very, very useful. Okay, next one. Uh, the special formula, a square minus b square equals to a plus b, a minus b. You use uh, this quite often actually. Then whenever the question has a double angle, use double angle formula which is provided in your formula sheet. Okay, like sine 2x is 2 sine x cosine x or cosine 2x you have these three options to choose from. And then tangent 2x is 2 tangent x over 1 minus tangent square x. And then sometimes when you prove uh, halfway and you're stuck, always look at the end point to look for clues. Okay, so let's do some practice question and see how it works. First one, um, cotangent x minus tangent x over cotangent x plus tangent x equals to cosine 2x. So first of all, we will copy the left hand side. Okay, then uh, first rule, always change to sine and cosine. So cotangent is cosine over sine. Tangent is uh, sine over cosine. So you become this one. Okay, cotangent is cosine over sine x then uh, tangent is sine over cosine, so and so forth. And then, when you have brackets, okay, or you have fractions, make them share the same denominator, okay? So you just cross them, make them share the same denominator. You'll get this guy, cosine square x minus sine square over sine cosine over cosine square plus sine square over sine cosine. Then from here, you will get rid of the common denominator, sine cosine, sine cosine, you will cancel. So you're just left with the numerator from both fractions. Cosine square x minus sine square x. And then this cosine square plus sine square. So if you see carefully, in the end, right, you're trying to get a double angle. So most likely you need to use all tips number six. Use double angle formula. Okay. Cosine square x minus sine square x, if you see carefully, is equals to cosine 2x. Okay, so it's in a formula shape. So just make sure you know how to use it. And then cosine square plus sine square is actually equals to one. So you become cosine 2x over one answer is cosine 2x. Okay, so just use all this wisely. Very, very useful. Okay, next step, uh, next question. 2 plus sine 2x over 2, 1 plus sine, 1 minus sine. Okay, equals to second square x plus tangent x. So let's copy the question first. So first thing first, what is the first thing you notice? Okay, 1 plus sine, 1 minus sine. So it's like this formula. A plus B, A minus B. So I'll simplify it and then same thing, sine 2x, okay, double angle. So if you realize in the end, right, your answer is only single angle. So it makes sense to change your double angle into single angle. So using this formula, sine 2x equals to 2 sine x cosine x. So you sub it in, sine 2x becomes 2 sine x cosine x. And this one you do your a square minus b square, you get 1 minus sine square x. Next, uh, what's the next step? So here you can take out 2 as a common factor, then you can cancel off top and bottom. And then bottom here, right, if you see carefully, 1 minus sine square x is actually cosine square x. How I know this? Because this one, if you bring it over, right, okay, become negative sine square x, you get cosine square x. Okay? So, I take out a 2, I left with 1 plus sine x cosine x. And then at the bottom, okay, I can change it into cosine square x. The 2 and 2, you can cancel. Okay? So, you end with this one. Okay? So, this one. So, we end with here. Okay, so if you see carefully, right, let's say if you're stuck, right, so what's the next tips? If stuck, look for the end point. So remember, your end point is what? Second square x plus tangent x. So same thing, you change it into sine and cosine. Second is 1 over cosine, so second square will be 1 over cosine square. Tangent is sine over cosine. If you realize, uh, there's a what? Tangent square x. Here, you also have a tangent square x, but they kind of like separate it into two smaller fractions. So what we're going to do is what? You separate it into two smaller fractions. So you get 1 plus cosine square x plus sine square uh, sine x cosine x over cosine square x. Okay? And then for this part here, so remember secant x is 1 over cosine x. So this one is actually secant square x. And then here you can cancel away the common factor cosine x cosine x. So you get sine x over cosine x. And then since tangent x equals to what? Sine over cosine. This one you can change it into tangent x. Okay, so that's how you prove it. Okay, so using the clue number seven. 
if stuck, simplify the endpoints to look for clues. See how you can push forward. Okay. Sometimes once in a while, it's quite common for you to um, get stuck in the middle of the question. So just look at the endpoint and simplify. Question three. Prove one plus cosecant x over cotangent x plus cosine x equals to secant x. Okay. So first thing first, copy the question. So we'll use rule number one. Always change to sine and cosine. So secant is 1 over sine, cotangent is cosine over sine, and cosine is just cosine, yeah. Alright, so you get this guy, 1 over sine, here is cosine x over sine x. Then next, what's the next thing? You will make them share the same denominator, okay, rule number 2. So you become this one, sine x plus 1 over sine x over cosine plus cosine sine over sine. Then you can take away the common denominator. So you just left with the numerator, sine x plus 1. Then here, if you realize, I take out what? The common factor, cosine x from both of them. Okay, cosine x is a common factor, I get 1 plus sine x. So you can cancel 1 plus sine, 1 plus sine. Then you just left with 1 over cosine. And then 1 over cosine is secant x. That's how you prove it. Okay. Next. Question 4. Um, prove sine 2x plus 1 minus cosine 2x over sine 2x minus 1 plus cosine 2x equals to this. So since there's a lot of double angle, I will use number 6. These are all my double angle formula. Okay, it's provided in your formula sheet. Just make sure you know how to use them wisely. Okay, so copy the question first. So sine 2x is pretty obvious. There's only one choice, so you're going to change it into 2 sine x cosine x. But what about cosine 2x? You have three options. Which one should you choose? So this one, which one to choose, right? You must actually look back at the question. So if you look at the front here, the top here, right, plus 1 minus something. So ideally, you try to eliminate the plus 1. So you need a minus 1 here. Okay, so I would choose this one. 1 minus 2 sine square x. Because minus 1 and plus 1, it will just cancel off. Okay, same thing from the bottom. Below is minus 1 plus 1 something. So I would choose this one as well. Okay, so sine 2x is 2 sine x cosine x plus 1, minus this one. So if you see, if I thumbs in the minus, right, plus 1 and minus 1, they just cancel off. So your working will get simpler. And then bottom, the same thing. Minus 1 is here, plus what? Plus 1, something, something. So plus 1 and minus 1, they will just cancel off each other again. Okay, so this and this will cancel off. This and this will cancel off. So in the end, your answer will be much simpler. 2 sine x cosine x plus 2 sine square x over 2 sine cosine x minus 2 sine square x. Okay, let's copy down this one. Okay, next, you will take out what? Common factor. Okay, 2 sine x from everyone. So you left with this, then you can cancel away your common factor, 2 sine x, 2 sine x. So you left with cosine x plus sine over cosine x minus sine x. Okay, next. So if you're stuck, right, let's look at the end point again. Okay, so whenever you stuck, look for the end point. So your end point is 1 plus tangent over 1 minus tangent. So tangent we know is actually what? Sine over cosine. Okay. And then below is 1 minus sine over cosine. So if you realize you compare this one to this one. So you realize here is sine over cosine. Here you have a sine also, but you don't have a cosine. So you will divide by cosine for these four terms. This one, this one, this one, and this one. So everyone will divide by cosine x. So you'll get something like this. Okay. After that, you will simplify it. Cosine over cosine is what? 1. This one is tangent. This one is 1, and then this one is tangent. So that is how you prove it. Okay? So whenever you're stuck, just look at the end point and simplify it to look for clues. Okay? Very useful clue. Okay, question 5. Proof cosine 4x minus sine 4x over sine square x cosine square x equals to this. So first, you will copy the question. So if you see carefully your numerator, right, you can use which formula? You can use a special formula. A square minus B square equals to A plus B, A minus B. So we simplify it, become this one. Cosine square X plus sine square X, cosine square X minus sine square X. This one, if you see carefully, is actually equals to 1. Okay, and then this one, cosine square X minus sine square X. If you look at your formula, it's actually this one. Cosine 2X equals to cosine square minus sine square. Okay. So it makes sense that you're going to change it in double angle because in the end, your final answer will be in double angle. Okay, so let's change it. This one is 1 and this one is cosine 2x. Okay, then you get this one. 
Then if you're stuck, right, let's look at the end point again. So for cotangent 2x, cosecant 2x. So cotangent 2x, you can change your cosine over sine. Uh, cosecant is 1 over sine 2x. So if you combine, right, you get what? 4 cosine 2x over sine 2x bracket square. So if you see carefully, uh, sine 2x square, right, is actually this one. But you square it, become 4 sine square cosine square. Sine square cosine square, you already have it. So we are still missing what? Missing the 4. So it makes sense that you need to times 4 to the top and the bottom. Okay, in order to achieve this one, then you will get the answer. Okay, so I'll times 4 to top and bottom. Okay, next page, same thing. So this one, I can simplify it, take out the square from the denominator. I'll get this one, 2 sine x cosine x square. Then this one, you can change it into sine 2x. Okay, and after that, you will split that up. Okay, into this 4 cosine 2x over sine 2x, one bracket, 1 over sine 2x, another bracket. Then this one is your cotangent, and then this one is your cosecant. That's how you prove it. Okay, so just use all these seven rules wisely, which are not commonly taught in school. Okay, so I repeat again, always change to sine x, cosine x. Okay, so these are basic elements. And then when there's a fraction in a question, share the same denominator. Third one, if there are any brackets, try to expand it and simplify. And then of course, the most important formula, sine square plus cosine square equals to 1. And number 5, use your special formula, a square minus b square equals to a plus b, a minus b. Number six, when there's a double angle question, use the double angle formula. It can be sine 2x, it can be cosine 2x or tangent 2x. Okay, so it's given in a formula sheet. And then, of course, the most useful one, number seven, whenever you're stuck in the halfway, right, in a question, always simplify the endpoint to look for clues. Okay, so just use this wisely. Okay, and that's the end. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, bye.